Well, it took about 14 hours for the email to come with this photo, so I couldn't put it in yesterday, but we got it, and he was a good sport about it. Good morning, days with Jordan the Lion. Well, either there was a rockin' party out here with all the uh, Christmas decorations that we didn't know about, or we got some rain and we're still getting it. It's the rain. It puts a little bit of a damper on what we would do today, even though I have to work, but I have a big night planned. Getting off at four o'clock, and I'm immediately driving to Santa Ana because there's a meetup between a vlogger and uh, his name's Justin Scard. He has the uh, Live Fast, Die Poor page. He has the uh, Sometimes vlog. He has Random Land Adventures, and he's doing a little meetup, and he has a legend that's going to be there to meet everybody, a man named Bob Gurr, and Bob Gurr was one of the well, one of the two only living Imaginarians that Walt Disney hired. Bob Gurr was responsible, well he first basically got started working for GM and designing the uh, the uh, outward body for cars. Walt thought he was a mechanical guy, hired him, and Bob Gurr just kind of learned on the job. Uh, he's responsible for creating the people mover, the monorails, his first invention was Autopia, he was the very first person to make an animatronic. Walt came to him and said, we have hands and a head of Abraham Lincoln that work and nothing else, and gave him some specs for how much he wanted the body to weigh and how he wanted it to move, and uh, Bob Gurr had to figure it out. So we're gonna go meet Bob Gurr tonight. He's, I've seen interviews with him, he's a, quite a character, and it should be a lot of fun. So this is gonna be a pretty historic day for as gloomy as it's starting. Let's hit it. And there's everybody's buddy, roaming around in the grass. Even in the rain, he can't be stopped. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, Ja. How did everybody, what everybody think of John is a uh, Santa outfit yesterday. He's not gonna have to wear that anymore. That's just because we knew that picture was gonna happen. You're cool, you don't have to wear it anymore. And then on top of all of that, Bob Gurr, also invented the Universal Studios King Kong that breathed uh, the hot, steamy, smoky fire. He did that too. Pretty cool. Um, anybody that wants to do the juice cleanse with me, I've decided I'm going to start it Monday, tomorrow. Um, even though I have to work all day, I'm still going to just start it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do it for 12 days, two weeks straight, then it'll end on Christmas Eve. Gonna have some good Christmas food, and uh, we'll reevaluate from there. I'll probably go back on it, or at least heavily incorporate it into my life. But if anybody wants to go on it, like I said, it's gonna be uh, basically per meal. It'll be two leaves of kale, two pieces of celery, half a cucumber, half a lemon, and a full green Granny Smith apple, and a little like thumb-sized chunk of ginger. That's what I'm gonna be juicing. That's what I'm gonna be having. Uh, probably the first day I'll probably only need like two or three of them, so I'll probably have one before I go uh, to work. Probably have to muscle it until I get done with work, and then I'll drink them when I get home. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but that's part of just making things in life happen. You just got to do them whether they're easy or not, right? Kind of one of the weird things about Breck's gated community that he lives in is that they have oil underground and when he bought his place he had to sign off the rights to that and uh, you can see there's these oh, there's oil derricks oil derricks kind of like just sporadic all over his community and you see them kind of all over this area you kind of see them all over Orange County actually see there's more more. Yes. Yes, indeed. You guessed it. I'm back in the Santa gear. One last day. Four more hours. My Santa Claus days are over.
All right, I'm on my break. This is like, I'm halfway done. Two more hours and then I'm going off to see Imagineer Bob Gurr. I mean, gosh, dude. He, he's credited as pretty much inventing anything that you ride at Disneyland. The train, the double-decker bus, the fire engine, the Matterhorn, the UFOs in Tomorrowland, the teacups, the Dumbo ride. Uh, got pretty much everything. So this ought to be pretty awesome. You guys are going to love this. Andy was a consultant for Jurassic Park. He was a personal consultant to Steven Spielberg on helping them design the T-Rex for Jurassic Park. The guy's resume speaks for itself. And he's a total nut. If you watch interviews with him, he's got a really, really great sense of humor. Really great sense of humor. All right, I'm done working. This um, this uh, ship is on its way down to Santa Ana. I haven't been there in probably 15 years. And uh, yeah, this is at the Santa Ana Historical Preservation House or something like that. I'll let you know when we get there, baby. All right, well, I made it to Santa Ana, and uh, as I was looking for parking, I had to park about three blocks away. Uh, I drove by the place, and there was a big line going all the way around the corner, thus proving my theory on how big vlogging is becoming and what kind of a fan base it's becoming, and it's almost like, it's almost like being in a band now, in a weird way. So, I'm gonna walk over, stand in line, because I don't really have anywhere else to be. Um, gonna go pick up jaw back over at Breck's house and uh, I don't know this is gonna be a, an interesting time because I didn't think that uh, I mean I knew there'd be a lot of people um, and I didn't think that you'd just be able to walk in like like there'd be 15 people here but uh it's weird standing in line as though you're meeting like a celebrity and it's just somebody that you could run into just about every day at Disneyland Justin Scard and Allie are there pretty much all the time so we're uh we're approaching this historic place and this historic event at least in like the world of youtube and vlogging and well with bob gurr in the world of disney as well let's head on in or at least let's go get in line can you hear all those birds migrating right now well to be honest oh there they are hope i don't get crapped on well, this is the reality of it. It started at 4 o'clock. It's 4.53. And the lines actually went down since I drove by, but... This is all to meet vloggers. I hope in reality that'll be uh, where I'm at at some point. So... There's Krampus. You can get your picture with Krampus. And then... In here would be... Uh, probably Justin and Allie over there. And then inside this room, I think, is Bob Gurr. came out even the uh, stormtroopers. That's, uh, that's one of the people we came to see standing there in the mirror. That's Justin's guard. We're still probably about an hour away from getting in there. It's been a long line. The line goes all the way around this house just to get in. This is what I've stood through already. And it goes all the way around. Actually, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Still gotta go all the way into there. Just to get in the house. We don't know why he ran away, but he's running back. <laughs> <laughs> There's the pizza planet truck. 
Tag. Whoa, it's a tiki face. in and I'm almost finally up to five. Four hours. It took less time to meet Kareem Abdul-Jabbar than it took to meet Justin. Literally. The tabletop of this uh, table is actually made out of leather. The leather tabletop. The wallpaper in here kind of reminds me of Willy Wonka. You could lick the wallpaper. Well, we're in supposedly a haunted mansion, and we're about to meet the man that created the haunted mansion right there, Bob Gurr. Hey, I've been All waiting right. to meet you for a long All time, right. sir. Bob Gurr. Video Gurr. or, 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 or still? Video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing what a YouTube is there? video. Oh, my, oh, you too. Oh, the, oh, I am not Justin Scary, <laughs> but I am crazier than Justin Scary. <laughs> you're an Imagineer, and I heard your joke that uh, if one more dies, you're the last one. Uh, yes, that's right. Out of the original 18 Imagineers, uh, 1954, two of us are alive. The other guy's home wheelchair, 97, Exitensio. I'm only 85, and I just run around like a chicken with my head cut off. What's your favorite thing that you created? Oh, the fire engine at Disneyland. That was because Walt Disney always picked out what's going to be in his park. One day he came in my office, and I said, Walt, we don't have a fire engine on Main Street. No, we don't. So he went to the accounting department, got a project number, and I thought, yay ho, we're going to get a fire engine. <laughs> Designed it, built it to the studio, drove it down to Santa Ana Freeway, two-cylinder car, delivered it in July 1958, and been running it ever since. So that's my ride. That's amazing. Yeah. I okay. love everything you created. Right. Well, Merry Christmas. Have a great time. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Mr. Greer. Go talk to Justin. We're on our way. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Well, you were one of my inspirations for being daily vlogger. No, filming daily. It's like a portable television studio. How'd you get all those people in there? Look at this random lands in Days with Jordan the Lion. What is this? Orange stash and the presidents of the galaxy. This is your music? That's yeah, yeah. cool, dude. That's awesome. Thank you. I can't believe that stayed on the wall. I'm actually really surprised. That's awesome. Dude. You know, you know, you're gonna get all of our content flagged for the music here, right? Oh, that's yeah. Right. I you're gonna blame Ernie. Hold on a second. Look at this. Fun pick. Look, I get it. I took the fun pick. Awesome. Now, Thank I you get so much. Credit on your video that you were Allie, holding, because I pushed also? it. Allie, you need to come right here. This is the great now, Allie. You push that capture button. Push it, Steph. Yeah. I can do it. Push you're it. close. Where is it? Where is it? So close. Ah, no, wait. Oh, not bad. I tried. There you go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely. This chat is fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Allie. Thank you. Thank you for the pins. Thank you. Hey, Allie. Thank you. 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 He has great quality content, great editing, just great everything. And uh, it's inspiring to be around somebody who can attract a four hour line. Nothing is gonna beat this in the vlog. I mean, tonight, we're gonna go see Job at the vlog. That is the pinnacle of the vlog for tonight. Well, at the meetup tonight, uh, Justin is making these new Quest for Positivity bands. And uh, I went ahead and got one 
not just to support them, even though I definitely wanted to do that, but I think that's just something that's a good reminder and it's cheaper than a tattoo. Um, you know, that's something I'm really trying to incorporate in my life. I know that's in something he's incorporating into his life. It's just trying to find um, a positive outlook on as much as you can and uh, sharing that and bringing that to the uh, people around you and making them positive as well. So I went ahead and picked one up so I can wear this and look at it every day. And uh, overall, four hours in line was totally worth it for the experience I got, um, the motivation I got as a vlogger, as an entertainer, um, and just as a person. It was nice to see somebody so happy to see other people the way he was. And um, he also uh, had a big toy drive today. Um, and all of his friends and fans and viewers and audience, all those people uh, brought a toy to donate to uh, a children's charity. And this is actually one that they were going to go and drop off at the, um, at the children's home. So it was totally for a great cause. Everything was fun. And uh, just a Merry Christmas for everyone. Vlog over.